make a new plan. It's not too late to make a new plan. So just keep that in mind. And if you say, I have achieved all my goals, or I have no goals, well, I highly doubt that. Because if you have no goals in life, then you're never getting out of bed, you're never brushing your teeth, you're never getting to school, and you're never doing just everyday mundane things because you have no goals. Even if your goal is to get out of bed and get to school, that's still a type of goal, even if it's not said out loud, it's because it's the expectation. So really think about it. But also think if you are someone who's sitting on the opposite side and saying, you know, I've done everything great in my life, just sitting here being perfect, I would challenge you to think twice about that. Because if you're doing everything perfect, you've gotten hundreds on every assignment in your entire life, or even A's, are you pushing yourself? Then why aren't you in a harder class? Why aren't you, why aren't you on that next level of that sport? Why aren't you doing something that does push you to fail once in a while? Because otherwise, you're not really living up to your potential. You're not growing. You're just maintaining your norm. So think about that like as you go through things. All right. Like I said, ask meaningful questions back, guys. Mentioned at Prudential, I was around a lot of older men. Totally fine. Very nice guys. Still go out to lunch with them here and there to, to keep up the relationship. However, when I got to Home Depot, I said, "What you know, what's the environment? And they walked me around. They showed me it's a family. They said that they encourage people to not only work in HR, but to work in supply chain, to work in finance, to work in recruiting, to go horizontally as well as up and down in the company. To me, that was huge. So asking pointed questions of how you get somewhere or how someone is going to help you do things really makes a difference because then you can figure out, wow, these people really get me. I belong here. Or you find out, mm, I don't belong here. Right? And that's okay. Like I said, it's okay to figure out you don't belong and you excuse yourself from that scenario before you're unhappy, they're unhappy. It's not good. So, a great question to ask. What is your biggest opportunity that you're facing on your team or in the company, on, in the business, <coughs> in the group? What opportunities are you looking to expand on? Opportunity is a very nice way of saying, where are your weaknesses? Where are you trying to strengthen? How can I help solve your problem? If you can help solve someone's problem, then you're going to be a key asset and they're not going to want it. They are not going to ever want to get rid of you. And you can grow with them and they'll teach you things. They'll provide education. They'll provide anything that you would want because you are valuable to them. You're an asset. They're investing in you. And believe it or not, people do invest. Companies will invest tens and thousands of dollars in their associates if they're good. And you can kind of tell who wants to be someone that's invested in and who doesn't. And if you don't, that's fine. There's a lot of people that are really cool getting their salary and going home. And that's fine, too, that their home life or whatever, they have different priorities in their life. That's okay. But if you're someone that wants to excel, letting someone know that you want to excel makes them want to invest in you and wants to return that enthusiasm. And don't forget your thank yous. Like, the biggest thing. Everyone deserves a thank you. You know those memes that with Oprah that are like, you get a couch and you get a free couch. And, no? Is Oprah before yeah, you're home? Yeah. Everyone gets a thank you. Everyone. I have told this story till my face is blue. When I went to the Home Depot to get my second interview, they surprised <coughs> me with an Excel test. In the middle of the interview, they plopped a computer in front of me and said, you have 30 minutes to go. Okay. Well, I answered maybe one of the questions, maybe. And I left so freaked out, sobbing my eyes out, full grown person, calling my mommy, crying my eyes out because I failed at that. And she said, Danny, I've never known anyone in my life that has failed so much and yet still gotten what they wanted. So I said, you're right. And I wrote an email to every single 
person, I introduced myself. All six members of that team that day, I told them little snippets of what I had talked to them personally about in my email, how much I loved meeting them, hearing about their daughter, or talking about the pot roast in the cafeteria that was their favorite. I emailed the security guard and thanked him for great creating the badge for me. That is his job. <laughs> to create the badge for people who come into Home Depot to interview or guests of the campus. And I thanked him because I didn't know if he was sitting at that desk one day or if he was really the CEO's like personal bodyguard the next. I didn't know. And it didn't matter to me because he helped me. And I got a phone call. I mean, they clearly saw that I not, I not only failed miserably in one section, but I wanted it bad enough I was going to give every single person the time of day and I remembered every little conversation detail and not not every detail enough to say something back that was personal to each person so just listen someone's an Aussie you can easily tell people something about Aussies shrimp on the barbie like a blanket statement like easy to say I mean koalas love them <laughs> you know you can make light of things it doesn't have to be super intense all right so that goes into post-interview. Your interview is over when you send the thank you note. And if you really, really, really want to be part of something, like an organization or a team or something, try a handwritten note. Like, really, I challenge you to try a handwritten note. Because they're not given out at all anymore. And they speak volumes about how much you're willing to do for the job or to get the position or to be part of the team or the group of people that are doing whatever they're doing. Try it. I challenge you. Okay, guys. I figured, I know I kind of rocked through that, but I know you guys just got your questions. Why don't you start looking at them, and then I can walk around, and if you have questions of how to phrase things, how to turn maybe a stressful situation or something that, you know, the prior, I know the prioritizing question is kind of tough, so... Whatever you think is tough, I can help you phrase it in a positive way. What would be the best way of going about how, like, how they phrase it? How, tell me a little bit about yourself. What would be the best way of going through that? Okay, so uh, tell me about yourself. Uh, What's your name? I am Andy. Andy? Yes. Okay, how old are you? I am 13. You're 13. What are your interests? Like, what do you like to do? Um, I like to read books, ride bikes. Comic book. Do you do this? What is your favorite type of book? What like specifically like superhero? What type of comic book? Superhero. Can you kind of describe like your favorite comic book to me? My favorite comic book should be the X Men ones where they all work as a team and to get through no matter what. Are you about me? On the mock one, the life. Can we be? Do we have to be all serious, or can we be no. slots and jokes? If you want to joke, go ahead and joke. I literally assumed my way to Home Depot because I found out there was two cafeterias, and I was like, oh dang, I'm trying to work for you guys. There's two cafeterias. Like, there's the world of food for me to eat, and they thought it was funny, but I was, I mean, I was dead serious. Where there was really love food, like ate there for lunch and dinner. But you know, it was totally a joke. There's no need to be. Embrace it. <laughs> Seriously, embrace it. If you find yourself laughing, just say sorry. I laughed because I'm really nervous, but I'm also very excited to be here. <laughs>